Let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist group called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX Army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercises. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. Dr. Drake. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. This gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Gravity weapons? The Federation banned them decades ago. That's right, Lance. We can't risk destructive power of that magnitude falling into the wrong hands. My weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent with the components of a gravity bomb. Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case, a potential black hole. Bill, Lance, given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces, confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. If at all possible, locate the GX army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. A remote hideout, missing super soldiers, and a doomsday weapon. Hell of a Friday. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother. Here. Come on. Knock, knock.
base like this has to have a data center or something, right? Up ahead. That looks promising. The lieutenant? <laughs> Has he had work done?
dudes in here.
Where'd you come from? I had hoped to see you again. You've proven to be worthy adversaries indeed. No time for the speech, bud. We're here for the battle. Oh, there will be a battle. A Zagarian war fleet is already assembled. I must simply show them the way. As soon as the Lemris is drained of power, the full might of Zagard will descend upon this rock. Your leaders will fall, your women will mourn, your children will weep. Then, as the cleansing flames fade to embers, a shame you will fall here, never witnessing the glorious Zagard Empire! Cool story. Too bad the Lemuris ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Come, Contra. Let ours be the first battle of Zagard's triumph. Yes, Pathetic display. Pathetic display. Return. Return. Big mistake. Well, take your chance. Let it play.
Thank you for indulging me one final glorious battle. But I did not search the cosmos for millennia to fail my divine mission. Left unchecked, the glow of Lemris would evolve all of humanity into Contra. Your kind cannot be allowed to proliferate through the cosmos. Diary. You will follow me into the void, Contra. <laughs> he overloaded the system. Can we stabilize it? If we can't, all the energy drained from Lemris will be released in a single blast. One strong enough to knock the Earth off its orbit. I could shoot the core. No! no! Huh? I have something that might divert. What the hell is it now? On the radar, Ryder, do you need us? This Guardian left what they were throwing in the lab. But without Varanus to control it! Damn! Get to the middle one! <laughs> I knew you'd pull through. Climb inside. Let's get out of here. Commencing return flight. Hold on. Lucia's still out there. Lucia, what's your status? Come in, damn it! Bad news. Baranis's device is spiraling out of control. If things continue, all the energy drained from Lemris will be released. God damn it! This is the wormhole generator function. If I activate it. Yes, Lucia. Enough energy remains in the Limbus to generate a portal to another world. If I pull this off, I can redirect the dangerous energy into space. You must already know this, but when the wormhole opens, you will also. There's no other choice, Beowulf. 
This is the logical conclusion. Wait, don't! Well done, everyone. That is mission complete. You have successfully defeated the spearhead invasion forces of the Zagar Empire. Another global catastrophe has been avoided. Commander Ironside, we're grateful for your assistance. I'm told a new unit is being formed following the loss of the GX army. You've been called upon to lead it. That is much appreciated, sir. I assure you the force will surpass Contra before you know it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. The Federation is also gathering a relief team. As soon as the area is safe, they'll begin reconstructing Galuga's ecosystems. I will return as well. I must locate the Lemris and return it to the temple. My mission is not over. Perhaps I will find Lucia as well. I'm sorry to say, her status remains unconfirmed. Nothing conclusive from our satellites yet, but the wormhole left behind a lot of distortion. Lucia's not dead. No way. Lucia's always got a backup plan. She'll find a way home. You aren't going to shoot him? No, it's too late. He's already imprinted on Bill and Lance. Genetically remapped him for one purpose. Eliminate Contra. Time for Plan B. <sighs> Dr. Drake, I'm sorry about what happened to Lucia. We will continue to put in all our efforts to find her. All that can wait. Look at these results. Negative. Every last scan. Negative! This is a critical situation. The energy wave produced by Lemris is gone. In all probability, the energy has depleted completely. The gravity shield will disappear. <laughs> 